details right now on the 32-year-old man arrested by the FBI's Terrorism Task Force in Fort Lauderdale yesterday. He had his first appearance in federal court today to face charges of possessing a firearm as a felon. CBS Force Joan Murray has done some digging into this case and has the new information from Fort Lauderdale. Paul Miller remains here at the Broward Jail. He told a federal judge he has money for a lawyer, and he's talking to his family and his fiance to make that happen. Under the watchful eyes of a U.S. Marshal, Paul Miller in a tan jumpsuit was returned to the Broward Jail after facing a federal judge. Uh, Flashbangs going off about 6 a.m. We ran, I went outside to look, and there was about 30 cars, people everywhere. Miller was arrested Tuesday when the FBI's terrorism task force raided the Fort Lauderdale home he ran it a month ago. Witnesses say they removed weapons. He's been charged with possessing a firearm as a felon. We all got Sacrifice for something, you know what I mean? Miller is an internet provocateur who frequently appears in costume, often ranting racial slurs. The Anti Defamation League tweeted several months ago, ADL Center on Extremism identified Paul Miller as a volatile white supremacist accelerationist. COE tracked him to Fort Lauderdale and shared significant intelligence with federal law enforcement. He posted white supremacist propaganda all the way down the coast of of the United States on his way there. We spoke with ADL's it's Carla that, Hill, that, who said Miller started becoming more radical six months world? ago. The concerning thing about him is that he seems to feel, feel it's necessary to become more and more extreme to keep his followers, you know, interested. There's red flags. There's the red flag that he's using violent rhetoric. There's the red flag that he has a criminal past. There's a red flag that he has weapons. He, you know, he posted images of himself with weapons. He, you know, he expressed the need for a race war, that he was ready for that. At the end of his hearing, Miller told the judge, I'm really sorry about all of this. I really am. So Miller has a detention hearing Friday in federal court. We'll learn more about the case against him and whether he will get bond. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS4 News.